Hello again and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. I'm Prince Magnum and this is another episode of In Your Face. Uh, today we're going to do something a little di different again. We're going to continue talking. Well, I'm going to talk to you all, but I'm not going to videotape myself because I've actually been told I'm boring on camera, but <laughs> my voice isn't. Go figure. Um, so basically there's going to be more fun facts and that sort of thing so if you don't want to if you don't want to listen to me that's fine just turn down the volume and take in all the fun facts if you like both well you can watch it twice the more the merrier anyhow uh, back in the day uh, you know when when I was a, a young hot rodder in the 90s uh, commonly we heard references made to people who basically they had a alright car uh, but you know they would uh, you know they would try to act like they had a high performance car we called them posers now and that's just the way it was you didn't do that you didn't pose uh, matter of fact I actually had a friend that uh, I wanted to throat punch regularly because he thought he had like a really fast car because it was a 85 Camaro but then it had a 2.8 V6 in it so you know at that point it's like quit being a poser you know, uh, you know. So on through the years, you know, I lost touch with what we, you know, with all of that. You know, I mean, I still did my races and stuff like that. Well, then comes the the, the Japanese tuners and uh, things like that, and uh, <coughs> I got a. I guess in recent years, actually, in the last six months, I got educated that we don't call them posers anymore. We call them ricers. And it could be referred to either their car or uh, the person driving the car. And uh, so I did a little bit of research and I looked up uh, Smurf and WRX, uh, Car Throttle, and just some different people like that. Uh, I think Alpha, JDM, uh, JDM uh, they all talked about Ricers. And uh, I even got to watch a few of them uh, being put in their place. And I'm sitting there going, this is a thing. Um, just for the record, I don't like us calling them ricers because rice is a good thing and uh, you know to me you know rice folded with a little bit of cheese that's awesome stuff right there you know and if you've watched any of my other videos and know how much I enjoy cooking you'll understand why uh, I'd hate you know for rice to be ruined like the word gay you can't call yourself gay without getting an eyebrow raise even today um, so you know, I have met some of these uh, so-called posers, uh, you know, uh, just for the record, I mean, I've seen some cars that would be called ricers today, and uh, over the years, I mean, to me, all of the Japanese imports or anything that wasn't American, you know, American-made uh, was automatically subject uh, for my disapproval. Uh, in recent years, because of how the car world has gotten so narrow, uh, I've just come to respect everybody. If they if they put the wrench time in, I've learned to respect it. Uh, you know, it may not be an American car, but you know, if they still put the work in it, I'm still going to show them respect, even if it's not to my liking or not. You know, they still did the work, and it suits them just fine. It doesn't have to suit me. Um, so, I mean, you know, you'll see a lot of those supposed ricers around here where I live, um, you know, but the cars are really nice. I mean, it's just a crying shame that they're still putting those off the shelf, uh, you know, decan mufflers that you would find at AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Uh, but just for the record, you know, you can get good exhaust from those places. Uh, you can get them just fine. Just don't buy those, you know, I mean. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Project Spirit actually has a muffler directly right off the shelf from AutoZone. It's <laughs> Thresh Turbo, you know, and that's a good muffler. We used to use those a lot back in the early 80s. Um, and they just provide a tremendous sound, and they flow great. And for the price, you can't beat them. I mean, you get a, you get the best of, of everything. So, um, so, you know, to me, you know, calling a car a ricer is really not fair, you know. Uh, it suits the driver just fine. Now, uh, for the actual drivers, uh, well, now that's a different story. Uh, they're posers. Uh, they're really, I've met a few here recently. Um, these are guys that'll pull up and they're, they're revving the decam muffler. It's front wheel drive. And, uh, 
you know, and they think they've got the hot car just because, you know, it sounds neat, but, you know, that decan muffler, that makes it sound like an angry bumblebee or the weed whacker, fart can, whatever you want to call it, is actually hurting their torque. Uh, you know, they have no bottom end torque now because of that. So, smart move, guys. Um, and, you know, of course, you know, uh, they'll get put in their place soon enough. Uh, once I, uh, you know, once I get a few more things taken care of on the Maverick, got to make sure that suspension's solid before I hit high speeds. Um, and they'll, they'll be put in their place soon enough. Okay? Um, but, you know, uh, there's just things you just don't do. You know, uh, I actually met some kids that said they wanted to race, that they had a Super Sport Camaro with a 425. Well, I put them in their place when I asked them. I said, oh, you have an Oldsmobile engine under the hood? And they all kind of looked at each other. And I guess. I said, the Oldsmobile 425 is a big block, uh, you know, Oldsmobile engine. That's what the 425 is, and they just kind of looked at each other and didn't, like, oh, shoot, we just bit off more than we can chew. Well, then I ended up running into them uh, a couple days later, and they didn't even have a Camaro. They had, an, uh, they had a dang S10 pickup with a four-cylinder in it, and guess what? All plastered all over the back window was uh, all these stickers that you knew wasn't on the truck. And that's just a poser. That's just a poser. You know, don't call them a ricer. Call them what they are. They're posers. They... You know, <clears throat> and, you know, guys like me have been putting them in their place for years. Uh, now, uh, the, po the most posed out vehicles right now here in the United States uh, by all of it, you know, that, that you see, uh, really honestly and truthfully, those guys are uh, typically doing uh, Cavaliers. Uh, the Probe is still right up there. The Probe is still right up the Ford Probe. And believe it or not, Mustangs. Mustangs are the big ones right now. Oh, my God. And, I, you know, I'm not a fan of Mustang. I mean, we had Project Beauty, and I'll tell you right now, I'm still not a fan of Mustangs. Uh, why, why, you know, here I drive a Ford, you know, a classic Ford. I, personally, I, I, think, uh, I think it should be said that, you know, uh, Ford suspensions under Mustangs, I don't know why it is, but they have never gotten that problem worked out. They've always had bugs in, in the Mustang suspension, and I don't think they'll ever get that worked out. They're just going to have to take it back to back to the drawing board, and the engineers are really going to have to redesign uh, because, I mean, I look, you know, looking at the one under Project Beauty, it had a lot in common with the old rack and pinion, and uh, the rack and pinion was great, but for some reason it never worked out so well under Mustangs. And these guys are posing these cars out, and you're sitting there you're like, dude, really? You know, uh, they're, they're, buy, you know the, they're buying these parts off of eBay because they think it makes it better, and uh, you just listen to them, and you're just laughing all the way through. Uh, but yeah, the Mustang uh, Cavaliers, uh, a lot of a lot of them are very very much posed out. Uh, but you know, if they like it, you know, if they like doing that thing, hey, who am I? Just you know, show some respect when you pull up next to uh, the real muscle car guys, the guys like myself. Uh, just show some respect. Uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna do it like that, you know, hey, that's that's your business. You know, just don't pull up next to the big boys and. And start acting like you're one of the big boys unless you're really running you know something like one of the big boys uh, that's just straight up you know uh, you know I got nothing against that you know whatever they want to do to their car let them do it you know um, I got nothing against that um, so please you know um, <clears throat> real tuners out there and real muscle car guys uh, you know, let's show those, uh, those uh, young men who are young men and women who are trying to deck their car out. Let's show them a little bit of, you know, let's take it easy on them. But the moment they start posing, let's put them in their place, you know. Uh, and I have no problem doing that myself. Uh, you know, I, I told off those young men and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. They just watched one too many, you know, they watched Fast and Furious one too many times. Uh, Rest in peace, uh, Paul Walker. Thank you for your contributions to the car world. That series really did save the car world uh, because that was becoming a thing in the past. Uh, but unfortunately, it created a whole new generation of posers. And, uh, 
and you can't even drive a Honda Civic without getting called a poser now. Well, they call them risers now, but it's, you know, and I feel sorry for those guys who really do like uh, building the Honda Civics. Um, I just really feel sorry for them. But anyhow, that pretty well brings us to the end of another episode of In Your Face. Uh, please, you know, uh, a couple final thoughts. Uh, like if you would, subscribe if you would. I'd like to do more videos like this. I really enjoyed, you know, sitting down and gathering pictures and trying to remember all this cool stuff that I, you know, accumulated over the years. And, uh, you know, get out there, work on a project, take it easier on those uh, young men who are just getting into the car world. And if nobody's told you that they love you, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24.